So, I think there is a big misunderstanding that needs to be addressed. Um, it comes partially from, from, from a lot of these gurus. But again, part of me doesn't blame some of them because they might not understand or know the full dynamics behind what actually happens. So, what I'm speaking about very quickly is this argument that schools are not necessary or schools are unneeded and that um, schools teach outdated information and therefore, <coughs> really speaking, schools are not really things that are useful. Now, there's a few things. Um, a lot of that information isn't necessarily fully correct. And the reasons behind what they explain isn't necessarily fully correct. For instance, um, a lot of the time the argument is that teachers are going to be teaching you useless information, um, it's unnecessary, etc. Um, the fact that they failed in a lot of their things means that they don't know what they're talking about, etc. etc. So a very quick example, and I'll put an extended version on, on YouTube, but very quick example, excuse me, <coughs> is... Teachers have to follow what is called a curriculum. And government states the curriculum. And so you can't really go off like off track because you've also got a set limit of time to complete the curriculum. So even if a person knows information that would be useful, there isn't really time to try and teach it to that person. Theoretically, there could be time, but there's a lot of other dynamics that play a role inside. So you end up not having the time to even teach what, as a teacher, you would say, this is actually useful. Because at the end, we have what is called, um, essentially, they, they look at your performance. People don't know this. They look at your performance. <coughs> it's called QMS. And they basically look at how well and how much of the curriculum you've taught. And if you haven't taught enough of the curriculum, or if you haven't taught the entire curriculum, <coughs> basically they say, well, what's your plan to catch up? So, even if you want to teach something, you can't really teach it, because it's not part of the curriculum. So, it's worth knowing that there's a lot of things that teachers could teach, which many people would consider more useful, including teachers, but they can't teach them because they're not part of the curriculum. And therefore... A lot of the blame actually goes to government because they then dictate the curriculum itself, you see. And so even if going back, you were to teach purely useful information and you were to take out what was not necessary, when you get to the end of the quarter, end of the term, and you're going for things like QMS, it would then come back to say, you haven't covered one, two, and three, you have to then cover it. So it goes back and it becomes stress on you. So you're disincentivized to teach things that could be useful and you're almost forced to teach um, everything else, whether it's useful or not. So it's not so much that, I, again, some teachers might teach things that are completely useless under the same circumstance, but we need to consider the fact that because there's a process, um, it's important to understand that teachers don't just say, I'm teaching this today. There's actually a plan that has to be followed, which is why theoretically, if a child leaves from one school, goes to another school, they shouldn't have much of a problem adjusting to that school based on academics because you're supposed to be teaching the same thing throughout at least the province. So that's worth noting.